Hi, I am Kylie's Christine Fountain, 2008 Olympic silver medalist in the heptathlon, six-time U.S. national champion, four-time uh, NCAA champion, and I am from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm Shantae McMillan. I was recruited by Nebraska, so I went there for track, and I was recruited for long triple jump, but I did the heptathlon my sophomore year until I graduated. In 2007, I was working at the University of Cincinnati, and the Cincinnati Bengals and University of Cincinnati's uh, orthopedic surgeon sent Eilis over to do some rehab before she had, uh, was getting ready for the uh, Olympic season. Uh, she was getting ready for the qualifier in 2007, actually, to get prepared for the Olympics, and she was having a knee problem. They ended up doing surgery on her, and I did her rehab and helped her get back uh, so she could qualify for the Olympics. Uh, she ended up taken first at nationals with about six weeks of preparation and we used a lot of functional training and a lot of the techniques that uh, we were doing back then were in, uh, looking at enhancing the neuromuscular system so we were able to help her recover a lot more quickly and then <clears throat> this past year uh, Lynn actually called me up and uh, said that uh, Elise was suffering from some injuries and she was banged up over the last couple of years and she really they had really wanted to bring her in to try to do some kind of prehab and try to get rid of some of these injuries that she had been having and since I had worked with her before and helped her get back they were going to bring her in. Now well, Shantae uh, had met Hylise and Lynn at the last Olympic or the uh, last nationals and had decided that she wanted to go and train with them uh, because Hylise had done so well and, and Lynn was doing such a good job with Hylise and, and then Shantae ended up hurting her knee and had surgery and when Lynn found out that he was he was going to end up coaching her he decided to send her out here with me and I was very happy to have them and open uh, or invited them with uh, open arms. Um, I think Lynn stuff is different because he was a former athlete and he understands what it takes to get back and he understands that we don't have a lot of time to get back so he's always trying to figure out the best way to get us back as quick as possible. Well, I was doing rehab in Nebraska, and I wasn't too confident in who I was working with. If I was back in Nebraska, I'd be just doing a bunch of like leg presses and just bigger stuff that come should be coming later after you work on the finer muscles. Is that how would you word it? Sure. Finer, finer muscles. Mm -hmm. Quicker muscles. Just getting back to the little details. And then work on the big stuff later. Um, my main focus right now is um, getting my neck better since I've had this same injury for about three years now. It has definitely um, almost taken me out of the sport, but I figured now is I really need to buckle down and um, get this therapy that is so needed for my neck. So I'm really looking forward to um, not actually ending my season, but um, really having a strong season in the high jump and um, jumping really high without any neck injuries. August 13th, I was high jumping. I went to, I planned to go up and my knee gave out and I fell into the pit. No one knew what went on until I got back to Nebraska, I got an MRI and they told me my patellar tendon was ruptured, not off the bone, but just split. And so they went in there and reconstructed that. Um, I expect, you know, to do the things that I need to do, even when I'm not feeling up to par. Um, you know, it's, it's all about giving 110 percent and doing more because I know what my competitors are doing and I know that if I do what I'm supposed to do, then I should be able to be on top. And, you know, the angle board, it's definitely helped me with my um, balance. Um, I'm a pretty clumsy person, so I haven't fallen since I've been trying to use it, since I've been using it. So it's definitely helped me. Um, it definitely helps me with when I'm taking off of um, the long jump board or the high jump board, it you know, helps me with my stability also. Using the necker, um, I've actually found a lot of success with using the necker. I, you know, in the past, have had issues sleeping, and now that my neck is really strong, I, don't, I haven't woken up with any type of uh, 
neck cramps or or anything in the morning. So it's definitely been a great success since I've been here. I've attained a lot of things. I've um, mostly doing a lot of things, of course, that I don't want to do, but I know that it, um, and doing the things that I don't want to do is what's going to make me get as far as I do, like going to bed early and, you know, being fully committed to what I'm doing. I feel like, you know, there's a difference between liking and loving something, and I love this, so I'm willing to do whatever it may take, whether it's me coming up here to Revolution out of my comfort zone and getting here and, you know, doing therapy six to seven days a week so that I can compete to the best of my ability. Looking back at <clears throat> everything I did in college, I feel like these actions, I've learned that they do mimic um, what I would actually be doing in real life. Instead of like doing slow lifts, this is like quicker and just, I don't know, I've learned that even just different little basic things here than I have in past physical therapy because I had ankle surgery in Nebraska and I didn't do like things here. There's so many different cool balance things that I've learned here than I did in Nebraska with my ankle. Right. So, oh, there's just so many small things I can do. If I have an ankle board, I, I'm set, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm learning things for life here in all aspects. Just how to take care of my body through all the physical therapy I'm learning and just nutrition I'm learning and everything. I feel like I'm just learning so much. I think a lot of people are missing out on life without doing this stuff. I feel if they even got like a little dose of it, it could help them and real make them have a realization and change the way they train for whatever they're training for. And I'm very confident that I'm going to get out of here and start training right where I need to be for this year and be at the Olympic trials and put up a good mark and be at the Olympics in August. Um, 2007, Hylees had surgery, had to have a lateral release. Um, Shante McMillan's coming off of a ruptured patella, Hylisa was back again, has some shoulder issues, back issues, and some neck issues from the high jump. So I'm relying on, on Revolution to uh, put Humpty Dumpty back together again. They are training athletes in a manner in which they'll be using their, their, their gifts, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, soccer, as opposed to what you see in a lot of places, a cookie cutter approach where everybody's doing the same thing, everybody's doing the uh, same number of reps, same exercises, whether you're playing uh, different sports or not. It's uh, things here at Revolution are sports specific, not only sports specific, I know there's there's a lot of people who are just rehabbing, but also sport, mostly sports specific towards getting athletes either back on the field or improving their athletic performance. Things that I see at Revolution are all, me being in track and field, are event specific. Everything we do, everything he does, the body movements, simulate natural body movements that you see real athletes when they're running, jumping, throwing, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, soccer. All the, the training is geared towards putting athletes, rehabbing for our case, in the same positions in which they will be performing. 